Aloha! And welcome to the Waikiki Inn. <laughs> Would you care to register, sir? Ben Franklin. Oh! Right this way, sir. We have a continental breakfast from 7 to 9 in the Tiki Lounge. A happy hour is from 5 to 8 in the Tiki Lounge. My ties are two for one, pina coladas are... Anything less festive. Can I bring a bottle to your room, Mr. Franklin? Something brown. Yes, sir. Second floor, it's number 22 on its number 25. It's number 55 on the second floor. Jesus, <sighs> what's wrong with me, huh? You think I got dyslexia? Oh, god, or you think I'm just stupid? Man, I'm probably just stupid. That's what my mom would say. Just stupid. You think I should get tested? Maybe I should get tested. Is there a test for dyslexia? You got a gun! How cool is that? Where's the girl? <laughs> Bob will kill me if I pay you! I'll kill you if you don't. Oh, please! We was gonna give a ride back. We was just trying to make some money, man. Last time. Where's Victoria? <laughs> Don't stop. <laughs> Pop told me to leave her with Sanchez. <laughs> Where do I find him? In the factory, just out the town. Ask anybody, they'll tell you. He runs the fights there at night. All right. You can stop digging. Can, can I get out of this hole now? See, Cal, a town like Hope ain't enough for a guy like me. I need the city. That's where I thrive. Now, Chicago man, that's me. I could run that town. We went down there to pick up this chick, and this bald guy thought he was gonna stop us. He brought his boys, thought he was the man and shit. <laughs> Pop told me to take him down. I must have killed 50 or 60 of them. One shot, one kill. That's how I roll. <laughs> this girl, she was real fine too, dog. Boom. I had to smack her around a little bit. Yeah, she, she, she was real scared, was crying and shit. <laughs> I think she liked it. I told her where I stood. <laughs> you know, the talkative type, huh? <laughs> you know your place. <laughs> well, uh, I, I like that in the barber. Fight back. Come on. Fight back, girl. Fight back. Uh, hey, wait. I want to be in charge, too. Papa's little boy. You've been waving that little thing around all day, haven't you? <laughs> Shut up, Wayne. Oh. <laughs> oh. You think you're a tough guy, Lenny? Hmm? Tough guy? Stop it! Come on, man, you tough guy? Come on. Come on, you tough guy? Come on, man! No! Come on! Okay, I'll show you! Uh, Shut up, bitch! Oh! Or I'll put a cap in your ass! Look out, everybody! We better make room for Limp Dick Lenny! Come on! You know what, Way? Just... Oh! 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 Oh, I got blood on my oh, hand, boy! Y'all see that? This is like pop like a watermelon! <laughs> Lenny! <laughs> I tell you what, Lenny. We better let the grown-ups clean up this. Mm-mm. Boys, keep watch, huh? Nice job, Lenny. Nice job.
They're gonna take a platoon photo. Come on, LT says to hustle. Oh, you're here. Sergeant. Wow. The Winfield Powers. We couldn't believe it when, when they said you were coming. Seriously? You don't know how good it feels to be saddling with someone with actual battle experience. So... Uh, um... Uh, so, uh, hey. I hope this won't sound weird or nothing, but, uh... Well, it's... I'd be proud just to shake your hand. Sir, thank you, sir. It was worth the trip to Mexico just for this. Hey, Rainer! Parker! Come meet Sergeant Powers! Fuck! Mother of Christ, Ned! Just give us a bit of warning next time you gotta scream out! God! What are you doing? This is our pilot! It's great. It's just great. I pissed all over my hands! Hey! Well, I'll be your subcom. That makes me your right-hand man. Basically, any radio traffic we get, well, it goes through me. It's a figure of speech. Anyway, our call sign's gonna be Bravo 1-1. In case you're wondering. Never mind. Christ, are you fucking kidding me? Like I need a goddamn portal. The old US of fucking A couldn't pony up for that last bit of steel. Little shit, you were stashing these, weren't you? Hey, you never know when the MREs are gonna stop coming in. A little reward for our big score back on the beach. <laughs> what would you know about scoring, Natch? Hey, fuck you. I I'm, I'm not a virgin. And, and who started that rumor anyway? I fancied myself a strong man. Strong enough to protect someone. Strong enough to love someone. I longed to prove it to myself as much as any other. Longed to show that I could give aught back and not simply take. And yet, in that moment, I chose to cast it all away. Though I cursed the world, what was writ true in my soul was an apology to you and our master who fostered a soul within you. As she spoke, the woman at her side simply stood and watched me, wordless. She was a pawn, come of a different world, the first I had seen. Her air was strange, yet somehow alluring. I chose to join them, this arisen and her pawn, 